on. Uh, 6.1 is available today on the HTC Titan 2. Uh, it'll be available shortly on the AT&T Tilt. And we've got great support from pretty much all of our partners in releasing upgrades for a number of devices. Now, Windows Mobile 6.1 has a number of key enhancements. First thing you'll see is this home screen, which is this sliding panel. So I can actually just navigate down here and I can see, you know, here's my diary, I can see the meetings that I have in my diary. Uh, and uh, I can quickly navigate through all of this information uh, straight from the home screen without having to drop into applications. Now, one of the things just about um, here is you can see we've got this getting started pane. So here's where I can set up, when I get a new device, I can set up the first things and really get through the first things when I get a new device. So setting the date and time, setting up my email, setting a password, setting up a Bluetooth headset and other things like that. So the first thing I want to show you is just how simple it is to set up email. Now, setting up email on a mobile device, uh, I actually uh, had an inquiry from one of our uh, partners who was supporting a competitive platform, should I say. And they had this hugely complex setup for, for getting your, uh, your own personal email on your device. So I'll show you how easy it is for us, right? We just literally put in my email address, um, Jason Language UK, and uh, I still feel a little bit dirty putting that, but I'm sure it's okay. Uh, <laughs> let's just put in my password. And what we do is we automatically have the configuration for about four or 500 different ISPs. What we're able to do then is just pre-populate all of the server configuration information. And uh, so it knows yahoo.co.uk. I click next, I put in my name, so let's put in Jason. Click next, how often I want to receive it, and then click finish. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go off, it's going to connect to Yahoo, it's going to then start to download my messages, and then you'll see them appear on the device. And that's it, my email is then set up, and I can start to use my personal email on the device.